Project WMD. It's Lazer and Ian from Project WMD. Welcome to another trade analysis breakdown. And oh boy, the time has come, guys. The Modern Warfare 3 um, trailer for the multiplayer world premiere is now out. It, it came a couple of hours ago. It was released a couple of hours ago on uh, Call of Duty and there's other like news articles that covered it. Um, so I thought I might as well cover it as well with my opinions on it and what I think about the trailer. Now, in my opinion, the trailer is not as... I don't know. I mean, they don't give too much away. It, they focus more on the gameplay to make it look like intense and everything. But um, they give kind of two, uh, like you know some hints about the perks, uh, weapons, and kill streaks. Anyway, uh, let's just get started, and uh, we'll go as uh, as we go along, right? So let's start. So obviously he's got the M4A1, and we'll see in a sec. So as you can see, he's got his primary weapons. Now the game type here says kill confirmed. Now maybe that's a new game mode. I'm not sure what's gonna what's what's the game mode gonna be like. Don't know, but that's the game type, and it says um, the primary weapon is the M4A1, M4 carbine. And apparently this is uh, some, I don't know what this means. Um, maybe it could be like um, something to do with Call of Duty Elite. Don't know. And the secondary is the M M32 uh, GLM, uh, that weapon we saw in the Spec Ops trailer. And he's got uh, equipment, flash, and frag grenade. Now I don't think I think there's only two slots, so maybe you can only have play, like you can't have a claymore and a frag at the same time like Black Ops did, I'm not sure it'd be a shame really because like, what they did in Black Ops with the, um, the equipment was pretty pretty good I'll, I prefer that way than, uh, way than I'm looking at this and then in a minute we'll see his perks so as you can see strike package assault, um, strike chain, UAV um, a helicopter and a 15 kill streak juggernaut and you can see it, um, the images here and now it says here Elite Clan Final Rest um, Clan Leader. Now this must be a Call of Duty Elite Premium Service feature, unless if this is just like a thing part of the game. Not too sure. Um, we're probably going to see more in the Call of Duty XP, which is happening in about an hour's time, I believe. So let me see if I can um, upload this video as soon as possible. And then obviously you got the perks: Recon, Overdraw, and Stalker. You can easily look on a uh, Modern Warfare 3 leaked perks and kill streak to see what they do. I'm not um, to see what they do. I'm not going to give away the details just quite yet. And let's carry on watching the uh, trailer. So as you can see, he's using the M4 uh, carbine. Now the weapon looks different from Modern Warfare 2. The iron sights and how the weapon looks on the side. And um, this is a London level. So you can see you got the underground level, and you saw the British flag um, just uh, minutes seconds ago. Then you saw the uh, the boss as well. Uh, near the underground level, and he's calling in the attack helicopter, the Overwatch. That's I think that's why they changed it now, so it's not called attack helicopter anymore. And he's pretty much blowing up the underground station, I believe. Huh. So you see all the British flag, people dying, and and you see the throwing knife smashing through the window. So we obviously know that that's returning from Modern Warfare 2. So all these quick scopers, you've got your favourite uh, equipment coming back. As you can see, he's blowing up quite a few things now. Uh, and obviously you can tell each uh, character that dies has got a different suit on, so maybe they're going back to Black Ops, so whatever perk you wear has that kind of like clothing style to it maybe. Not too sure, or maybe it's just part of the customization uh, for Call of Duty Elite or in the game itself. So more window smashing. And yeah. So as you can see, you saw then, you saw the M4 carbine with the um, COD 4 star red dot sight, so let's just skip back just a second. So as, you, as you can see, the COD 4 style, so again, these little details can actually come in handy. I'm drinking my hot chocolate while I'm doing this, why not? So as you can see, he's got his M4 carbon with the COD 4 style, so that's pretty cool. So they're going kind of back to the COD 4 style, and they're still in the London Underground map. And obviously, you've got the first-person view of everything. So map design-wise, it looks pretty epic, to be quite honest. Um, kind of looks like a, um, a um, what was that map in COD 4, was it? Um, Pile something, oh my god, I can't remember now. But it was that sniper map. So this seems to be some next uh, really, really big, big ass Santa that's actually shooting down the helicopter. As you can see, that's the helicopter over there. Then you've got someone dying over here. So you've got the um, rockets firing towards the helicopter. So clearly, it's destroying the helicopter. So it's a next generation Santa. So they've got you can clearly run um, on top of the train and climb some uh, stuff. He's reloading the um, M4 carbine, as you can see, and the iron sights have changed. And we just see more of the map, and he's jumping down. And he gets taken out. So this guy has clearly got some sort of sniper rifle, and he's wearing like a sniper, I guess, costume. Um, 
I'm not sure if it's a ghillie suit, unless if they're in the game, I'm not sure. Now, this is a feature that everyone's wondering about, the dog tags. Now, I wouldn't say they're copying, but maybe they're kind of going towards what Battlefield do. Because, as you know, in Battlefield Back Company 2, when you kill someone, you can take their uh, dog tags, as you can see. Now, unless if this is like a game type, called, uh, what we saw, was it um, Kill Confirm or something like that? Maybe, because uh, people are wondering, well, this is kind of copying Battlefield and everyone's kind of moaning just a little bit. Now, I can, see, I can see where they're coming from, but maybe it's not really too much of a big deal. I mean, I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think this feature is going to wreck the whole Call of Duty franchise. People think that are a bit cocky, if you get what I mean. So now, this is the second class. We see a bit of a difference. But as you can see, the weapons, um, for Carbine, game type is Capture the Flag, and we've got some sort of thing. I don't know what this means, to be quite honest, unless if this is part of the weapon. And obviously, he's got it with a cog site. Elite, um, um class push to the game uh, maybe this is like an extra feature maybe secondary he's got the FMG9 which I think again we saw in the um, uh, the, the, the trailer spec ops and surprisingly bouncing betties are in uh, Modern Warfare 3 from World at War um, you'd be I'm pretty surprised that they were in it bouncing betties were equivalent to the claymores in World at War they were proximity mined and um, Let's just say they were kind of over. Well, I'm not sure if overpowers is a word, but they're hard to dodge like claymores in uh, Black Ops. Because as you know, Black Ops claymores were really, really um, frustrating. Now we've got a new equipment called EMP grenade. Now it kind of looks like a flashbang, and you'll see um, later on in the trailer what it actually does. So let's continue the trailer. As you can see, now this is his uh, perk slash kill streaks. So strike support. Three kill streaks now: airdrop trap, um, remote turret, and EMP. Now, again, what I said in my previous video, how the kill streaks might wreck it. I'm not sure if they're going to wreck Modern Warfare 3 like they did with Modern Warfare 2. But again, if these kill streaks are really, really high and they're really super, super, super strong, then you might see a lot of camping. I'm worried about, kind of worried about this, but I'm sure Infinity War did think about this, and I'm sure it's going to be balanced out quite right. And obviously, you've got the perk slots: extreme conditioning, assault. Uh, that's not, not assault, sorry, assassin and sit rape. So again, these kill streaks and perks were actually the real ones from the leaked footage. So we're going to see how this works out, really. So he's using the A cog with M4A1. Now this is not a London map anymore. I think this seems to be like a Hong Kong map. And obviously the uh, player throws down the bouncing Betty on the floor, and we'll see what he does in a second. So he blows up the van. And then someone's obviously running towards it, the bouncing Betty flies up in the air, and it kills the person. Now, I'm wondering if this is going to be easier to dodge, because again, bouncing Betty's on World Up War were really hard to dodge. Um, and um, same thing for Black Ops, the claim was, so, uh, will you need flat jacket, or is there a way you can actually dodge it? I mean, they are really small looking, um, but again, if you've got sit rep, you'll know where they are. But again, if you haven't got sit rep, then you'll pretty much... Um, you're pretty much screwed because they are pretty, uh, from the looks of it, they are hard to look, look find, look, makes any sense. As you can see, the guy's got um, a sentry gun, and the guy actually throws a EMP grenade, and it actually blows up the sentry gun or damages it, so it doesn't work anymore, so that's pretty, pretty cool as well. I'm not sure if it actually affects the player itself or just the, um, like, uh, sentry gun, not too sure. And then, obviously, as we saw just a bit here, um, the ACOG site, there's obviously again customization because you again you, you saw the um, what the red dot site has changed so same again with Black Ops maybe who knows so he throws down was it the, the booby trap thing as you can see the booby trap care package as you can see with a skull and obviously the Navy Seal the back as well from Modern Warfare 2 the guy gets taken out and I think he's the LNG guy I think so this is capture the flag, so he's taking the flag to his base, and we saw a massive explosion. Again, this is this map is a chain map. I can't even get my words out right. This map seems to be like a Middle East map, or maybe it's like a Rome map or something like a Venice map. From the looks of it, we'll just have to find out in a second. So again, another class confirmed. He's got the ACR this time, and this game type is Team Deathmatch. Obviously, that's going to return. I mean, it's obviously going to return, right? Because it's an old map. So. Oh, Okay, forgot about the, uh, the kill streak. So his secondary is an XM25. Now these um, secondaries look kind of a bit um, well, not overpowered, but they look like they can do a lot of damage. And um, I don't know how they're going to balance out, right? 
So equipment wise he's got a claymore and a portable radar. So maybe this is like a motion sensor from Black Ops maybe. Because you get that kind of like, um, well you don't get the whole map radius but you get that part of the map radius where you, you can see where people are coming from. I think the motion sensor was really really handy. People didn't use it that much but I think it's actually really really good. And then obviously you've got his um, kill streaks and um, you've got his, uh, well, let's continue this. And then you've got his um, perks as well. So kill streaks, ballistic vests. Um, 10 kill streak recon drone and 14 kill streak stealth bomber. Again, the 14 and 15 kill streak seems pretty much like the high kill streaks where everyone's going to camp. But 5 and 10 don't really seem like much. But I think recon drone is probably like the predator missile and vest. I'm not sure what that really does. I mean, you can't really, um, guess what the vest does. Maybe it's bulletproof just for like a minute or something. I don't know. And then obviously the clan. So perks wise he's got recon, blast shield and deadly silence. So we pretty much know what they do. So let's continue watching this. So obviously there's more action going on around here. He gets taken out. So he's got blast shield so obviously he didn't die with that explosion. As you saw. And he's pretty much noob tubing him with that gun. I think that's the secondary gun. And then obviously that must have been the secondary kill streak. That noob tube. And he's got blast shield so he didn't really die that much. So the van exploded. And... He takes, and that's one of the kill streaks, and that's a stealth bomber. Clearly, that is a stealth bomber for Modern Warfare 2, and it's going to cause a lot of weapons of mass destruction, as you'll probably see in just a second. He's uh, running away from the stealth bomber, poor lad, and it's pretty much so. Yeah, as you can see, it's probably is a Middle East map because the the way the texture's like. So um, maybe it might not be as overpowered as it was in Modern Warfare 2. Now this seems really weird. Now this could actually be a kill streak. Kind of like a, it's it's kind of like an RCXD on weed or something because it's really really big and it's kind of like a um, sentry gun. So let's have a look. So he's running away and it's kind of like a sentry gun as you can see. It's um, going in some sort of area like detecting people and obviously killing them. So he's uh, shooting people down. Boom! Lots of explosions and he's got the ACR with red dot sight as you can see there. So he's obviously a sniper rifle. That looks to be like the intervention. Now this is, I believe, the last scene. So he's got his uh, last class. This is a Grand War. He's got the ACR equipment. He's got a trophy system. Don't know what that does. Obviously a throwing knife, and he's got apparently a sniper rifle as a secondary weapon. Now the reason why he's got a sniper rifle as a secondary weapon, guys, don't start thinking that it's not like an overpad thing because he's got the uh, was it the overkill class where you get two primary weapons as a primary and secondary weapon. So yep. Yeah, Perk 1, Blind Eye Pro, so the Pro uh, things are coming back. Overkill Pro and Sit Rep Pro. And obviously, um, kill streak wise, apparently you get perks as kill streaks now. So maybe this, I don't understand how this can work. So kill streaks, you get Scavenger Pro, Steady Aim Pro, and Marksman Pro. So maybe um, if you um, kill some people, you get more perks maybe. And then obviously, if you die, the perks will go from the kill streak. This seems, I don't know if overpowered's a word, but I'm kind of getting a bit more worried as we sp <laughs> as the trailer goes because they're kind of topping it off with more, a lot of, um, lot of stuff and it's making it harder for a lot of people. I don't know, but that's just up to you. So there's a right shield's back. The throwing knife, he gets a kill with that. And he's got his LMG. Sentry, he places down, looks to be like a sentry gun. And some more action, noob tube, RPG. Got his LMG just shooting people with that. And then he pretty much kills more people. How much I can say really. And this guy, he I think is a sniper rifle guy, he pulls out the dragon off. And he quick scopes in, that's what people say, that's the quick scope at the end. Not sure if that is true. But we'll have to find out more on Card Elite. So anyway guys, I have been Lazy Train from Project of BMD. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more quality elite videos coming up later on today, and I'm out.